Hi, this is a little tutorial on what I think is the best way to set up student work submission within Google Apps. So I am currently in um, my Ken ISD Google account. And I'm, I'm taking on the role of a student here. So I'm going to click on my drive and I'm going to create a folder. And the purpose of this folder is going to be strictly for sharing documents with my teacher for one course. So my protocol is last name, first name, course, I'm going to say English 1, and then if I'm in a different hour or if I'm a high school teacher, I have different periods, I'm going to have my students list their class periods. So I'm going to say first hour. Oops. Alright, so I create that folder, and now that folder is here. And I'm going to share it with my teacher. So if you were doing this with your students, you would have them share it only with you. So I'm going to put in uh, craig.s at csredhawks.org and notify them by email so they know that I shared it with them. So if I click share and save, yep, that's OK and they don't even have to be able to edit it um, I'm gonna have them be able to view it so if I click save changes again I'll click yes and now it's shared with that person and now anything that I drag into that folder so I'm just gonna do a test I'll do the Cedar Springs document I'll drag into that folder and now it's shared with that person. Okay, now I've logged in um, into my teacher role. So I'm in the Cedar Springs um, account now. And you can see my drive's pretty empty. I don't have much in there. But if I go to the shared with me um, section, I can see that the folder that was shared with me is there um, from Craig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for that course. So that was English 1 first hour. All right, so I'm going to want all of the folders that were shared with me from all my students in English 1 first hour. I'm going to put them into that folder. So that way when I'm looking for student submissions, I will know exactly where they need to be. So if I go to the shared with me and then go to this folder, I can just drag it right into my English 1 first hour and now here's my drive if I go into that folder there is that folder that was shared with me and if I click into that I can see all the documents that are in that folder so let's say I had them submit a paper and then when I click into that document it's there and I can insert my comments and um, do anything else that I want to do within that document that the student has given me permission to. So that way when I give feedback um, and leave comments, um, it will, they will see it automatically. It will be an easy way for me to be organized and an easy way for them to get the feedback that they need. So now I'm back in my student account and let's say my teacher asked for an assignment to be submitted. Let's say it's this ME Venn diagram. Um, so if I want to submit this to my teacher, now that I have my folder shared with him or her, whenever I want to submit something, I can just drag it uh, right into that folder. And now I don't have to worry about it. Um, once I do that, then my teacher will know that it's there. When he or she goes to look for it, it will be there. So now I'm back in my teacher role. And if I go up to my drive, say I'm going to check for the assignment um, then if I had a full class I would see all the student folders that I have in that class right there but in this case I only have one so I'm going to go in that folder there's that document that was shared I can go into it grade it comment uh, save it do whatever I want with it and that is very efficient and good way to manage your documents. So hopefully that helps you. Thanks.